An FIU board meeting held today regarding the sexual harassment probe into former president Dr. Mark Rosenberg. And it comes after we learned some shocking new details about what led to a sudden downfall. Local 10's Hatzel Vela live in southwest Miami-Dade with details on this. Hatzel. Louis, it looks like the university here is rather is moving rather quickly, and I say that because today the Board of Trustees voted to keep the interim president at least for another year until he, they find his replacement. And there was discussion, uh, somewhat of a small discussion, about the current investigation about the former president. Very proud to be here today. Giving my FIU's first. interim president, Kent Jessel, at his first Board of Trustees meeting after he was appointed back in January. This comes a day after the university released its investigation of former president Mark Rosenberg. 700 pages of text messages, um, all emails between um, the uh, principal parties involved. The investigation revealed Rosenberg was unprofessional and crossed boundaries with the female employees in her 20s. He asked the female employee if companionship was of interest to her, and she said yes. She told investigators he became personal with his questions, told her he was getting a divorce, and proposed that she become his lover and companion. The report says Rosenberg denied ever using the word lover, but admitted he discussed that she could become his companion when he retired. The woman also asked Rosenberg to stop his advances, but he continued anyway. Investigators say there are no smoking guns. The messages reveal an uncomfortable and inappropriate level of familiarity and informality on the part of both the president and female employee. The text messages included pictures the woman sent Rosenberg of her working out. In the end, investigators concluded Given his position as president of a major educational institution, the substantial disparity in age and the obvious power dynamic that existed in the relationship, the president at best displayed extremely poor judgment. In his more than four decades at FIU and almost 13 years as president, he led the way for the institution and made the difference in the lives of countless students. Unfortunately, unfortunately he engaged in inappropriate conduct. Rosenberg did go on to apologize to the FIU community. He remains a tenured professor here. We understand that investigation now goes to the faculty board. They will decide if there's any additional disciplinary action that they need to take. For now, reporting live from Southwest Miami Data at FIU's main campus, I'm Hatsopella, Local 10 News.